Hey y'all, it's Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. So I have the new collection for Madam Glam for May. This is for Mother's Day. This is already launched. I'm a little late getting it out, but here we are. Um, and it is called Pastel Haven. And it's so pretty for Mother's Day. Uh, we have six creams and two glitters. The glitters are more like toppers. I have used a few of these already. And I've got my fingers covered up because my nails look so bad that I do not want to even show them. So pink gloves today it is. I've got my little helper man here, a little swatchy boy. Come here, swatchy. You hear him a little click clacking in the background. That's, that's him. <laughs> um... So yeah, I'm gonna swatch these. I'm gonna tell you I don't love these formulas. I've said this before, and I don't love the bottles that they come in either. And these ones seem to be a little bit, what is the word? <laughs> like, not sheer, but in a way kind of sheer, I guess. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think I understand this formula too much. I don't know if they're meant to be able to build them a little bit more than like a regular polish or if you're supposed to do really thin coats like you do a normal Madame Glam polish um, because they're just kind of sheer. So I don't love them. The colors are stunning though. They're so stunning. So um, if I can find it, I will pop up a picture of the set that I did using this collection. Um, and it took a couple of coats to get it there, but we did get there in the end. And yeah, so you'll see when I swatch it what I'm talking about. But yeah, without further ado, let's get swatching. <laughs> Blanket, waiting for mommy to be done. 
she'll keep swatch. Okay, so that is all the swatches. Um, as you can see, the glitters are really beautiful. If you're gonna pick anything up from this collection, I would get the glitters. Like I've used this on top of so many things already. It's such a pretty topper for so many colors and you can kind of build it up so it makes a great glitter fade. Um, it looks really pretty over all of these, literally all of them. I don't know about the green, but. <laughs> But why not? Look at that. And then you have this beautiful blue one, soft lullaby. So pretty. Looks really pretty. Over the blue, the purple. Oh, that's gorgeous. Let's see what it looks like over the green. Uh, yes, please. That's pretty. And over the pink, why not? Make it like a purpley color. Yes, so pretty. Uh, maybe not the orange so much. Mm, I don't know. Why not? Art with your heart, y'all. Look at that. So pretty. Okay, so I am going to do comparisons, but keep in mind that even if we find a similar color, this formula is so different than the regular Madame Glam formulas that it's not going to be exactly the same. Um, I love this color, Love Bond. It's probably one of my favorites in this collection. And we're really seeing this in the best light, like off a little bit. I don't know how to how to show you. Maybe down here, because this is where I see it the most. I don't know. It's so hard to pick it up on camera. But I did float that second layer on a little bit thicker. They're still kind of patchy. Um, and I noticed that a lot on um, my client when I was doing it, you can still see the patchiness on the nail. So putting a glitter or something over it really helps a lot, but the color is so beautiful. I just don't love these Korean gel formulas. I just don't, I, I don't know. I can't get on board with them guys. I'm sorry, <laughs> but yeah, I, I do love this color. This is kind of like a watermelon pink, I guess in a way. So you've got like your, your bright orange. It's not really super corally pink. But this is like your your pink pink, almost a purpley pink. But this one is like your bright watermelony pink. And I think these two colors together would make such a pretty like watermelon nail type of thing. So cute. Okay, I'll quit blabbering and we'll just get to the comparison. Um, let's do the glitters first. So I've got two glitter wheels and a like a confetti topper one here. Um, to do the glitters with. These are definitely way more concentrated, I guess, than the toppers. Um, I don't know, maybe not way more concentrated, but definitely different. Uh, what's this one? Yeah, so none of those are even close. So let's just look at the glitters here and see if we find anything. I feel like. We're not gonna, but we're gonna check anyways. There's some old ones on here, you guys. I mean, really old. You're not gonna find these anymore. So, for instance, here's a uh, rockin', rockin' blue. Definitely not similar at all. Here is mm, hardcore fancy pants. Yeah, none of those. Let's see. Wham Bam Thank You Glam was from their sixth anniversary collection. It's similar-ish in shade, but definitely like more opaque. Yeah, none of these are gonna be really close. Here is Am I Clear. I love this one. I have an, a spare bottle of it. I hope they don't stop making it, but it's a nice topper. It'll go over any color. Reminds me a little bit of these ones. Um, the way the uh, glitter in it is kind of like iridescent and kind of reflects that gold. Very pretty. So yeah, nothing close to that. Let's check these real quick. We've got, here's where like the really old ones come in. Top It, Swag It, Silver Magic, Paradise. I'm not sure if they make those anymore. We've got Moon Dust and Stardust, I believe. Was this one of the Korean gels? And Stardust is very, very, very similar to it. 
Um, here we have Earth Day Every Day, uh, Precious Stone, that's a really old one. None of these, none of these really even look like this. If I come across one, I'll bring it up here and compare it, but yeah, no, nothing. So that's the glittery ones. There's really nothing quite like these that we have seen. I like these a lot. I, I would use these for toppers for sure. Um, they work really well for that. So let's do the colors now. Here is some pastels. Um, they kind of advertise this um, in the name anyways as a pastel collection. It's called Pastel Haven. They're not really pastel-y. Um, they're a little brighter than pastel, but eh, pastel-ish, I suppose. So here's my pastels. Let's compare them. If I can get a hold of them. They're going everywhere. So this collection right here, uh, the King's Speech, Royal Pink, Lightborn, Airy Season, El Grey, I Roll, and what's that? Angelic Sonata. These ones really remind me of this. So here's the Muse next to I Roll. It's definitely a little bit of a darker blue. Here is Gentle Touch. Not quite the same. Here is Enchanting next to Airy Season and El, El Rey. Um, not quite the same. Here's Mother's Wish. Mm, again, not quite the same. And yeah, these are just a, a bit brighter. I don't know, they're different. Let's see if I have on my pink wheel. Pink, here's a purple wheel. Let's try that one, let's check the purple wheel. If anything is close. Let's see, Gentle Touch. It's not really super periwinkle, but it's got a little bit of a periwinkle vibe to it. Nothing yet. We're getting closer though. Okay, here is Mystique. Very similar tone. Maybe uh, Gentle Touch is just a little bit lighter. Here is the Persian Sea. Uh, again, similar, but it's actually a little bit darker. There's light lilac. It's not super lilac-y. That's where I'm getting like that periwinkle vibe from. Here is Confidence. That's an old one. Might've been a one-step gel. I don't believe they make any more. And Dark Orchid. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. So that is Gentle Touch. Nothing really quite like it. So I wanted to find this wheel here. This one has my jellies or what else do they call them? Jolly Rancher. Um, jelly, Jolly Rancher. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> kind of see through -y stuff. Uh, missing one here, Jasmine Tea. That one popped off. That was got a greenish color to it. Anyways, I wanted to compare these because they're close in formula to this as far as being like um, like a milky, semi-sheer, opaque kind of thing. So you got Playa, Shaka. I use these colors a lot um, for bases for art. So I definitely wanted to compare these. Here's Salty Foam, Purple Haze different but the formulas are closer um surf and skate ocean side you can see that compared to the blue it's not quite the same but i definitely wanted to show you those uh these ones are not close here's bubblegum sky again much much lighter none of those match cake for dinner i love that one these ones have a little bit of a sparkle to them uh, turn my flash on can you see the the shimmer in it very pretty um nope none of these actually match but 
This is more closely formula than anything else I've got. Here are more of your like Jolly Rancher style. These are definitely like see-through, but vibrant in color. None of those match. Let's see what we got down here. These are more of your whites. So yeah, none of those are gonna match either. I wanted to go through those just to make sure we didn't have any dupes. So here is the blue wheel. We'll do gentle touch again on here just to make sure we don't have any like periwinkly colors that might be close. And then of course the muse. Um, guardian angel, nope. These ones are gonna be way too dark. That's Mama Bear next to Guardian Angel. Or I mean, Gentle Touch. None of those. The Muse. No. I'm gonna get those out of the way. The two dark ones. And then focus on these here. Okay. It's okay, Swatchy, it's just a car. <laughs> okay, here's September Skies. Uh, similar again in shade, maybe a little bit more blue. Here is Lucky Number Nine, definitely lighter. Groupie, all of these are quite similar, but not the same. Yeah, and then the Muse compared. Groupie. More of a sky blue on the muse here. Always and forever. Here is aqua blue, a little bit closer. Lagoon, yeah. So nothing identical. I do have a greenish tealy wheel we can do the muse with and then move into enchanting. So. We have Birthday Boy, Caribbean Sea. None of those on my way. You guys, I think On My Way is in the outlet section right now on Madam Glam. Um, I would highly recommend picking that up. I use this color a ton. I'm actually probably gonna buy a uh, second bottle to have on hand because when it's gone, it's probably gone forever. Okay, that's it for the Muse. Let's check out Enchanting. This is more of like a limey green. I think we're gonna find that closer on my green wheel over here. Let me grab this one out, yes. Green highlighter. I love that color. This one really does look best over white if you swatch it over white it definitely pops a super bright neon highlighter green here we have grassy sassy um amazonian dream here is your sublime rooftop party basil little secret early bird celestial jungle the big apple apple bite um jenna neon lime green a perfect neon lime green so good eden garden good luck love to fiesta camouflage mother nature pure nature and keep palm none of those are a match but you can see what they look like next to it okay moving along we're gonna do this um orange I'm gonna call it orange. It's not quite coral. I think it's more orange than anything. So Mama Shine. There is Energize Your Day. Bahama Mama, the brightest, best orange you will ever find, ever. It's so good. Single and Fabulous. Here is Positive Tomato. I love that color. It's more of a like a coral, kind of a pinky orange. 
yeah we'll compare that one to it as well the love bond uh so hot blood orange i love blood orange sunset in hawaii a nice pretty orange here is live colorfully um you've got meet me in new york orange poppy that one's pretty close orange poppy and kiss on the cheek fairly close to mama shine in color um definitely very different formulas no buns no glory and spring fling screaming summer is another one that really needs to go over white it's so bright though peachy not quite peach pie now we're getting a little bit more into the peachy oranges um here is Taurus season oh again fairly similar in shade actually that one might be even closer Taurus season but again very different formulas no taboo you know you love me kiss on the cheek so this is definitely in that peachy orange realm for sure it's a very pretty mama shine i like that one and then love bond we'll compare it to these as well and then we'll move into the pinks and also grab mother's wish here which really matches my gloves very well <laughs> okay so we have you know your bright oranges here here's positive tomato it's definitely much more pink than these ones it's not it's not quite there on these oranges or on the the peachy oranges either so we're definitely gonna move into the pink okay so you got your really light light pinks um, here is glam element this is a great color I love this one this reminds me a lot of love bond so when I say like a watermelon pink color this is what I'm talking about I mean it's not like watermelon red it's definitely like um I don't know how to describe it how would you describe it? it's like a corally pink but not it's more on the pink side than the orange side I hope that makes sense you guys um, but I love love glam element for that and this I would say is fairly similar it's maybe a little bit more pink and again much different on the formula here we have inner peace your you free tonight bubbles troubles I feel like that one has faded a lot since I've swatched it I don't feel like it really looks like that um, I need to re-swatch that one also with this one you're the pink I feel like it's faded a good bit too hmm. there you've got perfect pink you're one in a melon again that melony pink kind of color that I love so much um, close but this is definitely pinker here you have gossip candy pop bobbing apples <clears throat> coral flirt I love New York bright Barbie pink yes love is in the air I don't think they make that anymore think pink so good razzles pink I love that one too I got a lot of pinks I love pink um, Frida the chaser R Rodeo Drive Venice Beach the core well now the core's pretty close mmm ish a little different um walk of fame pink madness now this one has been super popular so far this summer it's not quite neon pink but it's close like it's not quite omg or baby nest neon pink but it's so bright i like this one a lot and it's been very popular since i've gotten it so there's pink madness little j this is oz pajama party Sorry, I was getting a call. Baby Nest, OMG Pink. Um, this one's backwards, what is this? Fire Sign, ooh, that's a good one too. I really like Fire Sign. So bright, so pretty. Hardcore, uh, more of a ready pink. And then now you're starting to get into like your purpley pinks here with Dulce, Dulce Vita, uh, Daddy's Girl, pink about you 
the rule maker. Oh gosh, I love that color. And then you, these, these are more like red pinks, you wish. That's a good one too. Astro Love, um, Witching Hour, and So 2016. <laughs> <laughs> which tells you how old that is and so old they definitely don't make that anymore let's grab mother's wish and go back through this um wheel again and i think that'll about do it you guys for these comparisons like i said even though we're finding a couple cl colors close and similar to these the formulas are so different they're just not you know not the same thing uh none of these these are definitely here is I Love New York, very different. Could just compare my gloves. <laughs> so, so close to this color. Uh, we're gonna get probably closer to the purpley pinks. There's Venice Beach, the core, pink madness, so different. Um, yeah, let's start here with Dol Dolce Vita. Daddy's Girl, Pink About You. Love this color. Uh, okay, where was I? Sorry, somebody walked in. And of course, swatch went wild. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, we'll start over. Dulce Vita, Daddy's Girl, uh, Pink About You. I like that one a lot. The Rule Maker, Synergy. Yeah, so really nothing super close to this one. Maybe about you but that's so much darker yeah so that is the new collection from Madam Glam I really want to hear what you guys think about this formula because I know a lot of people love the Korean gels do you like this formula from Madam Glam um, you guys know how I feel about the bottle and the neck on it being kind of small and hard to get it back in there um, I would highly recommend picking up these two glitters for toppers. They're gonna be really, really popular. And I've got probably this pink on at least three of my clients right now as a topper. So go check me out on Instagram at Ginger Sparks and you can see all of the beautiful nails that I do using these Madam Glam collections. And I do try to tag or mention the color in the description on there. I don't always, cause sometimes I forget what they have on. <laughs> But nine times out of 10, it's a Madam Glam color. Not always, but yeah, most of the time. Um, but yeah, this is a gorgeous topper. I love this. This is gonna be great for beach nails. Adding that like gold uh, fleck is so pretty, so beachy. And this one as well, very, very pretty. It's gonna be great for beach nails. So loving those glitters for toppers for sure don't love the Korean formula. But I do wanna hear what you guys think about these Korean um, formulas. Do you love them? Not so much. Um, just tell me, tell me all about it. I wanna know. So I wanna say a huge thank you to Madam Glam for sending me this collection to swatch and compare for you guys. I'm so glad these videos are helpful. Um, and thank you all so much for watching. That is it. And hopefully I will get these nasty nails done soon. <laughs> um, I actually have an appointment. Amanda's gonna do them for me and I'm so excited because it is so hard to get our schedules lined up so she can do my nails, but she's gonna do them this weekend and I am gonna post pictures of them on my Instagram and on her Instagram. You guys should follow her Instagram because her nails are fire. I mean, they are so, so good. So I am going to tag her Instagram below in this video. So if you guys wanna check her out, you really, really should. It's Nail Revival by Amanda B. So it'll be down in the description box. You guys can go check her out. That's it for this video and I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.